Good morning everybody and what is up and welcome to another vlog. Currently Thursday I think, holy moly. So like, we go back to work in like a week which is crazy. I have got my breakfast here which is just a bunch of kiwi fruit and feet joas. I'm going to sit on my computer and watch a couple of YouTube videos I think. Um, hopefully Alicia Marie has uploaded. And then I will uh, complete the final edit of my vlog that I filmed yesterday. It feels really good to be able to get content out daily again. If you haven't watched yesterday's vlog when it does go up, um, I mentioned that it does get repetitive. I really do apologize for that. I try to keep them different, going to watch my videos and, um, and then I'm going to edit. Sephora haul is now up. So I managed to straighten my hair in the time that I watched Tara Michelle's vlog. So that was like perfect timing. But I had to move the mirror. Oh, you know when there's like a bit that you miss? I... One thing I hate about straightening my own hair is that I always miss bits. So if you see something that's like not straight, like just let's pretend that it's not there. Let's just ignore that. So everyone, it is currently 12 o'clock. So I feel like I've done a lot today, which is awesome. So I got ready, obviously, and I did my hair and everything like that. And you guys wouldn't have seen that because it is a part of a main channel video that is coming in a couple of Mondays, I think. Sorry I couldn't get you guys behind the scenes or anything like that. My room is at a literal pigsty because I had to change the mirror around for like the video because I couldn't straighten my hair. I've never had this hair when I've tried to straighten my hair, so it was like in there. I just there was just no space. So that is why I've moved it, but I've really got to move it back. But I love the way my eyebrows came out today. Real nice. Anyway, so the vlog is up, so there's no real plan for the day, but I need to really, really clean up and do that. So I'm probably going to do that and then probably play Sims, to be honest. Okay, so this is my MacBook and this is my old computer. Gotta charge it up. Over here is like very tidy whereas this one this one was very very messy and like cluttered and all over the place something that i have wanted to do since quarantine started well since even before then and i just haven't done it is transfer all of my photos from facebook from snapchat from my phone onto a hard drive i like doing this so that way in case i lose my phone or in case anything happens to these laptops and i have that hard drive like safe and secure because i brought a mac I have a hard drive for my videos that is only for Mac and then because I had had a Windows computer I only had the hard drive for a Windows computer for all of my photos. Eventually when I get rid of this I know like give to my dad or something but eventually I'm gonna have to buy one that's like compatible for both and then have the like all the photos and videos on that hard drive. It's like stressing me out because I don't want to lose like all of my like this is going back to when I was like really really young. But I'll show you this. Like look how messy it is. Anyway, so that's what I'm going to spend my afternoon doing. So I just thought I'd update you. Hi guys, what's up? Yesterday I had a day of vlogging. I don't know how much footage I am going to get today. Just because I'm taking things kind of chill. So I have this big black album thing in my bobby that I stored all of my like 21st photos in. I decided I wasn't going to get one custom made. I was going to just eventually do it myself. That's not what we're doing today. I decided to put a knot in this, so hold fire. So, like, I've got all of these pages here that I can do stuff with. So, I decided that I'm going to make, like, a mood board or something. I don't know if I want to, like, rip it out or just keep it, like, separate from my 21st book. I think what I'll do is I'll do the mood board, like, while it's still in the book and then I'll decide from there onwards. We've got this stuff full of like pens and stuff so i just want to see if i feel i don't think i do might have some in the wardrobe i also really want to do scrapbooking now that kmart is doing like every thing delivery now that we're in level three i might grab some stuff i feel like one vivid but like it's black won't really show up sharpie maybe that's yellow oh i've got a gold one i think that might be it so i've got these and then i've also got a red pen i don't really know if this is called like a mood board 
but pretty much what I want to do is I just want to write everything that I want to like achieve that I feel like would motivate me you know how like some people do um like cutting out of magazines and stuff I don't have any of that to do so pens and words and quotes and stuff like that that'll do so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write my mood board and then figure out like things that i want to do like goals that i want to achieve like how i want to feel like what i want to do all of like those kind of things because i just have had like really bad down days and last night i kind of just was like you know what i'm gonna stop being so negative like for example i have a manual and one of my 2020 goals was to be able to solely drive a manual car i also have an automatic car i don't feel confident enough to drive my manual at this point in time and that's completely fine like confidence and negativity are like two different things so like for me like two months ago three months ago i wouldn't have been confident enough to drive my manual to and from work and like to other places so like supermarkets to even like a drive through but now I have a little bit more confidence like I know the last few days I have been driving around in my manual car so I'm like driving by myself you know I'm confident only still like you know one time and not to mention that people who are so confident in driving manuals they stall as well so like you know like I'm not too mad at myself however the negativity is like oh I need to go to the supermarket. What car am I going to drive because I can't drive my manual? And it's like, yes, you freaking can. Yeah, you have slightly a bit more confidence, but that's negativity because you know that you can do it and you know that if you really wanted to be able to drive manual, you would conquer that. So, this is why I'm making a mood board because I want to fulfill everything and anything i have this washi tape that i'm gonna stick it on the wall that way it doesn't damage it or anything so excited i'll put it up and then i'll show you um, stay there this is harder than it looks with washi tape one more to go Ta -da! it looks really really horrible but makes me happy so this is meant to be a plane but it's not i want to do adventures i want to get to 500 subscribers love smile comparison is the thief to all joy you're beautiful you're kind i want a home lighting candles is what makes me feel at peace i want to buy more candles i want to feel genuine happiness and i want maybe a new car oh yeah i'm just gonna have that and then look at it and be like wow add to it eventually if i you know find anything but i'm so freaking happy i just thought i'd bring you guys along sorry i didn't like film the making of it or anything like that i'm so happy it's up there now welcome to like day three of this vlog i haven't even started editing yet i i just feel like it's going to be mumble jumble though today is currently sunday i think it's like the third i'm pretty sure it's the third yes it's sunday the third of may and honestly today is just going to be a pretty chill day fun fact i thought it was mother's day this sunday so like i ordered my mum and my nana some of like mother's day gifts and like got them delivered to like my mum's house it's not mother's day so she got a very early mother's day present so my goal for today is to write a to-do list snap it out also going back on my mood board that i made yesterday after that i had such a good mindset and then i i was like trying to talk about something and then like i realized i was being like negative about it so i was like no hold on let me reframe that like statement and then i will rephrase it in a way that's not negative but at least i'm getting like a point across and honestly it made me feel so good and it made me like think about what I was saying because sometimes when you get in such a negative headspace or you just want to express how you feel it does come out really really horrible so like it was good that I was able to express how I was feeling but not in a negative way I never realized what situations made me like feel negative and stuff like that but definitely I experienced one yesterday a conversation that I really didn't want to be a part of so i just didn't yesterday i did time framed to-do lists so for example i gave myself half an hour to clean my room because yesterday my room was quite messy and then i gave myself half an hour to edit like half an hour to do this half an hour to do this 
and it worked out really really well so today I'm going to do that again so it's currently 9 31 so I would give myself half an hour to do something and then half an hour to do something else I guess I'm showing you how I write a to-do list but I use this cute little to-do list it's from Kmart like for example it's 9 30 I really want to have a shower nice and early just to get my day started so have a shower I don't take half an hour to have a shower but I'm going to block that out because we're obviously still logging and then i've got to go inside to have a shower um and then 10 i want to i want to like get ready so i want to do like my makeup get in some comfy but nice clothes so i'm going to allow myself an hour for that i'm going to edit actually before that before that i'm going to transfer hard drive i know what that means and then that will take me probably I know 20 minutes or something so I'll just say 11 30. It's always good to do it in like half an hour blocks. If you finish early then you have a lot more time to do the other thing for example. I cleaned my room within 20 minutes so I had 10 more minutes of editing so then it got 40 minutes and I was pretty much finished with the video. Like normally I probably would have wasted that 10 minutes until my timer ran out just on my phone like on Instagram or something but no I'm trying to be really productive as possible. So it worked out really well in my favour. 11.30 a.m. I want to eat it. I may want to eat it probably until like 12.30. This is just a small to-do list. That's how I like to do my to-do list. I've been trialing it out and it seems to be working really well. So that is how I write my to-do list. But anyway, I'm going to hop in the shower and I will talk to you guys soon. 9.57 and I have obviously had a shower. I have got ready like clothing wise now it is time to do my makeup before i do my makeup i want to just do my skincare i kid you not as soon as i finish that vlog like that was the end of my skincare so you guys really do keep me accountable because i obviously don't keep it up without me videoing it so that's that's fun so I am going to do my makeup and listen to some music and enjoy the time lapse. So my makeup is done and it's currently 10.30 so I have an extra half an hour of editing which I'm excited for but this is my makeup. Um, I don't know if I like it to be honest. I mean it looks way better like on the camera than actually in person because today is such like a dark day. Like it's so dark. Like it's for sure going to rain. Anyway this is my outfit so I just decided to put my hair up in a high ponytail just to get it out of my face. And then I'm wearing this just cropped long sleeve. Um, I think I got this from Cotton On, I can't remember. And then these are just the Cotton On type um, that I'm obsessed with. So this is like the best spot for lighting but it just makes my makeup look so much better than it actually is but this is my makeup anyway i'm actually going to put you guys on charge because as i was doing montages you guys were flashing so i'm going to do that and then i'm going to edit and i will check in with you guys later so i completely forgot to end the vlog i didn't realize how much footage i had um of me just rambling so please enjoy that but yeah i hope you guys had a great day on our review movie and i'll see you all next time bye guys